In this video, we are going to create the logout page. So when the user click on this one, we will log out the user. Currently, we don't have the logout page. That's why we are getting page not found. So we need to go and create it. So inside here, yeah, we will create a new file. Call it logout.php. Go to your index page. Copy this one for me. And over here, open up your PHP tab and paste it here. The first thing that we need to do is that we are going to create a function to destroy the session. So over here will be our function. The name of the function will be what log underscore out underscore user. So the function over here will just log out the user for us. So first, what we will do is that we will unset the session. This will be unset dollar underscore session as a user ID. And we'll make the dollar underscore session to be empty, empty array. And then we'll destroy the session. Session underscore destroy. Then we'll generate a new unique ID. So session underscore regenerate underscore ID. And we'll return true. Which is this one and over here will be we'll call the, met the method or the function which is this one and after that login so instead of okay login so then we check and see whether the user has login okay now let's go back let's refresh it So session ID cannot be generated when there is no active session online one one two. Okay, so let's go back to the okay. So as you can see, our logic has worked fine. So first, if there is active, so let's see. We can let's register a new user over here. Meeting this one. Add anything over here. The same thing. This one to the same thing. And this one to the same thing. And over here, let's attach at gmail.com. And click on register. Now click on this one. Click on logout. It says session underscore regenerator. It cannot be regenerated when there is no active session. Okay. Because we have late. Session, so we can't regenerate it. So remove this one from here. Okay. So that's it. Okay. So over here, if as the session is not set, so if If there is no session, right, we need to direct, redirect the user to the index page or the register page. So copy this one from here. Then remove this one and paste this one here. So this is what I'm trying to do. First, I'm destroying the session over here and returning true. And over here, um, if it's not set, then redirect the user to the login page. So over here, if I refresh it, okay, let's try and register a new user. Enter in some dummy name. This one to the same thing. This one to the same thing. 
and click on register okay okay so now click here click on logout so meaning that our logic has worked fine so see you in the next video